Hello friends and welcome to Fort DeSoto. It's a beautiful day in Florida. It's been a while since I put a video out there. I've made some videos in the last couple of weeks, the last several weeks since I've seen you or you've seen me, that is. But I just have not had the time to put together videos and do all the things that I wanted to do. I had planned on taking a complete different route of life in the last couple of months, but my plans are not the plans of the universe. So I am here in beautiful Florida enjoying a wonderful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to my own mom. And I hope you're enjoying the day like I am today. I'm taking a day off today. I've been working a lot. I took on a project, which is much larger than what I anticipated. Unfortunately, I don't make enough money on YouTube here to survive, so I have to do other things for money. And I've talked about this before in some other videos. I do handyman work, I do some electrical work, I do a lot of different things for income, but I took on a project that was not intended to be as large as it is, so it's taken me not six weeks, but four and a half months now, and I have about a week left, and I'll be putting a lot more videos out. A lot of things have happened to me, for me, opportunities for me in the last couple of months. And I wanna share some of those things with you. It's, it's a new world for, for your buddy Dre here. I'm gonna hang out here for a little while, I'll probably listen to some Grateful Dead for about an hour, and then, uh, how about we take a walk and I'll tell you more about what's going on. Well, friends, I think I've sat here long enough, laid here, swung here long enough. It's time to go explore a little more of Fort DeSoto. What do you think? I'm glad you agree. Let's go. Fort DeSoto is pretty big. We're going to take a, a ride in the fantasy around the park. One major change with me is I'm living full time in the fantasy now. I was living in Orlando at the Kite House, but that is no longer. The show is not happening anymore. All the performers I was living with have dispersed, so we are no longer in the Kite House. I'm in the what used to be known as the Kite Van. The license plate used to say that. Now, I'm staying in the Vantasy, which the license plate currently says. There you have it. It's pretty warm out today. Don't worry, friends. If you want a tour of the van, today's not the day for the tour. I will give you a tour of the van and all the updates that I've done to it in the last couple of months, which have been a lot. There's a couple of videos that I made about installing the plumbing, the solar, all the components, all this stuff. And it's not quite done yet. It's getting there, but not quite done. The tour will be for another day though. Let's go drive around Fort DeSoto. It got so hot recently, my dash mount fell off. You can see where it used to be, it just melted right away. So I'm gonna have to hold the camera a little bit while we drive. It's an excellent park. Lots of little offshoots and trails and places you can park that are off the beaten path. Wonderful place. Here we're at the North Beach. You can see here, a lot of people visit these beaches. I've seen this pretty full before. This is not that full, but it is Mother's Day, so there's a lot of people here. Surprisingly, there's there's not more cars. It's a lot of people that bring their tents out here and all their cookout gear. Huge families, blasting music a lot of the times. This is uh, quite the place. It's it very busy here on the weekends. And why wouldn't it with this beautiful white quartz sand and all this beach space. If you're looking for solitude and the peace and quiet of the beautiful Gulf Coast beaches, this is not the beach that you want to come to. It's at least on the weekends. There are other parts to North Beach. It's not just this one section. It's a pretty long space here. So there are better places to go. I'll show you one of those places. It's about noon now, lots more cars are piling in to this extremely large parking lot. This, this parking lot is probably a half a mile long. 
for as long as you see the parking lot, the beach is just that crowded as you saw out there a little bit ago. The part of the beach we're gonna go to is not quite to the entrance. You have to either turn right or left when you enter the park, right where the flagpole is. And we're not gonna go all the way to that point. It's just a little bit ways down the road. You can see a lot of cars here on the side of the roadway. And this is to access some more secluded beaches, but it doesn't look like they're very secluded on this Sunday of Mother's Day. Wow, I've never seen this many cars on the side of the road up here, never. So many people. Once you do find a parking spot, you gotta walk out there to the water. It's not too far. Once you pass the beaches, you enter the drive for the historic Fort DeSoto. There is an actual fort. Welcome friends to the historic Fort DeSoto. I'm walking into an echoey room. I think it's probably where they kept some ammunition or something like that, who knows? But it sure is echoey. You just wander all around the fort like this. Some rooms are blocked off. Lots of cool stuff to check out here. Oh, some big guns. Way back in 1849, a group of US Army engineers, one by the name of Robert E. Lee, arrived here on Mullet Key to do some surveying. They were trying to find some locations that would be beneficial to the army for the efforts in uh, the wars. And here they landed and set up, set up shop. They didn't start building anything out here on the fort until somewhere around, well, after the Civil War actually. So they just used the land, it appears. I don't believe the fort really had much to do with any activity in the Civil War but very minor, very minor stuff. So says the sign. That is a monster gun, huh? Man, oh man. I'd like to know what kind of paint they use on these things. You see these outside on display a lot of times, places like this, and not many of them are like rusted up. It's got some kind of heavy duty enamel paint or something. But look at this setup. Holy Moses, look at springs on this thing. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I guess so. Not much of a gun guy. Never knew much about guns. Never got into them, never owned one. My dad had one. I don't even know what happened to that. I have no idea about these. They're just gigantic, powerful weapons. I wonder, wonder if they're ever needed to be used or if they just practice with them or something. Here we have a choice of four doors to go in. Looks like two of them go to the same room. Let's go in this one. It's another small room with a window. Okay. What's in this way? Hmm. Let's go to the top of the fort. Nice view. Beautiful place. From up on top of the fort, you can see a pretty good perspective of how many people are hanging out here on the beaches today, a lot. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but way down there, around the bend, there's lots of tents there too. This would be a great place to post up if you were you know, just surveying the, the land back in the 1840s. I can imagine seeing this and just thinking it would be paradise. I'm sure a lot of it was saw palmetto, sable palmetto, palm trees, probably a lot of thicket like here. Probably not a place you don't know go wander around nature but maybe so maybe so it's also a good spot to check out the pier an old historic fishing pier i've been out there a few times in my day i've never been fishing out here but i've just hung out wandered around checked out the pier a couple times did a photo shoot out there with my friend susan a few years back quite entertaining and great time they used to open this up at nighttime it was open 24 hours a day you can wander around, get some areas blocked off. But nowadays, I don't believe it's open 24 hours, unfortunately. It is quite majestic to look across the parking lot and see the Vanity waiting on me wherever I go. I do enjoy living in the Vanity. It is getting quite hot though here in Florida. And as of yet, I do not have air conditioning on the top of this van. I had air conditioning, I have air conditioning in the house unit like normal but uh, it actually went out the day after I had saved enough money 
to buy a rooftop unit. The very next morning, I woke up to a terrible screeching sound when I turned the AC on and had to get that replaced. And wouldn't you know, it cost exactly as much as the rooftop unit does. But that's okay. Uh, the weather is not too terrible at the moment. I'm going to be doing some traveling up north to Washington, D.C. and the Ohio land and Charlotte, North Carolina and some other places, Tennessee, all of that coming up here in the next couple of months. So I'm very much looking forward to the cooler weathers of the northern United States. Although I love Florida. I specifically love St. Petersburg, where we're at, or Pinellas County is where we're at right now. This park is a county park. So it's all part of the, the beautiful, beautiful Pinellas County. One of the most visited counties, the second most visited county in the United States. There is a historical museum here at the fort, but it is not open today. But it's open every other day, 9 to 4. A very popular thing to do is rent kayaks and paddle boards. And this is where you do it. And we are going to pass by the exit here, leaving the North Beach and head straight south to the South Beach. It's a lot of fun to be had on the South Beach. And the East Beach. Forgot about the East Beach. Not quite as busy as the North Beach. Welcome to the South Beach. Not very busy at all. Let me show you why I like South Beach so much. If you're not a fan of Fort DeSoto yet, well, I don't know how to help you. East Beach over there, I always forget about that place, but there's a lot of palm trees that are very close to each other. You can put a hammock up, kind of like I did in my original location, which I'm not willing to disclose the exact spot of my original location this morning because it is so sweet. It's kind of like when people find those mushroom spots, especially up north. You know, my friends are posting pictures of where they found these great morels, but they'll never tell you. They won't even tell me where they go to get those things. So I'm not going to tell anybody just yet where my secret spot is here, but if you know the park, you probably already know. This is one of my favorite spots in the whole park because, well, you can see there's hardly anybody here on a very busy Mother's Day afternoon, but this is on a windy day where the kite surfers all get together and launch from this part of the beach. I've been out here for a couple of events where there are just hundreds of surf kites all over the place and people popping off into the water. That's a, it's a hoot, it really is, a lot, of, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Ah yes, home sweet home. I'm having a fine day here at Fort DeSoto. This is a great park. If you're in the area for vacation, which a lot of people do make their way down here for vacation, three of the top beaches in the country of the United States are right here down the road for me within 10 miles of me are all three of those beaches. Now, a lot of people, as you know and have seen, make their way here to Fort DeSoto, and you should too if you haven't been here before. This is a great part of the beach too, the South Beach. It is so quiet out here. You might hear the sound of a car going by at 15 miles an hour occasionally, but just 50 yards away was a, a gal on her telephone. I could hear every single word that she was saying. A family about 100 yards away I could hear everything, everything that they were saying. It is so quiet and it's probably because the pristine glass water and uh, the, maybe the echo off of the doors here in the van is a nice temperature the breeze is flowing in what a great day in fact here uh, i've got my thermometer it says it's 93 degrees humidity 25 percent that's pretty nice i could do with a little cooler weather but uh, this is this is really nice and what else is nice is this view of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge right out there? Oh, you can't you can't quite see. But there you go. Isn't that nice? Oh. Yes, what a nice, beautiful day. I thought it'd be a great place to bring you to talk about some of the new things that are going on, namely living in the van full time now and since February. It's the first time I've lived in the van full-time. I've done a lot of traveling in it, but now I've really taken it to another level, which I'll show you a full tour of that, as I said, in the next coming videos and show you how I do it. 
talk about that over you know, the next several videos. But uh, for today, I just wanted to talk to you about the current events and, and new things that are happening. And I'm not even able to tell you all of the things. I've got some really special stuff that's going to be happening come fall time and through the summer. I have some travel plans that are going to be very cool. Very cool. I, I promise you, you're going to want to stick around for that. And from here on out, friends, I'll be posting more videos. I have a backstock of a couple that I've taken over the last couple of months that I haven't posted. So I'm going to put those out there, a little outdated, but I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. One is from Dicasto Rama. It happened a couple weeks back. That happened on Drayton Road or Drayton Street, something like that. Out in, um, some other county, middle of Florida. It was a really good time. I hope you enjoy that video. That'll be coming out very next, and then we'll get back to some of these other things. I, I've got a, a couple videos coming from little hikes I've done and other little adventures over the last few months, so I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, but for today, you know, I, I just want to say hello to you, let you know I'm still out here. I have a special message for you, Patreon subscribers. You may have noticed that you have not gotten your mail over the last couple of months. And for that, I do apologize, my friends. I do appreciate your help, your subscription to that every month. I really do. It helps me continue to make content like it does other content creators on Patreon. If you're not familiar with patreon.com, it helps people like me make videos. It is a way for you to support people on YouTube and, and painters and other artists too. It's not just limited to YouTubers like myself. If for a $5 Patreon subscription to my page. I will send you a postcard every month. I handwrite it and send it off, except for the last couple of months, which I have neglected to do so. I've been so busy doing all these other things, but I have found a way to make up for that. My friends, I have a very special series of postcards that I'll be sending off to you. I'll make a full video about that that will be on Patreon. If you want to go check it out, go to patreon.com backslash Dre's World. You can see that video in the next few days when I post that there. I am just mesmerized by the beauty of this place. I love it out here. I love it out here. But it's about time to hit the road. I've got some engagements this evening. I want to go to the VIP Mexican Lounge, hang out with some local friends, and enjoy the rest of my afternoon somewhere else. Probably make my way over to the drum circle or something recreational this evening. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at beautiful Fort DeSoto in Pinellas County, Florida. I appreciate your company. I hope you look forward to the next several videos of adventures. I know you're going to like it. I'll see you in the next video.